hi beautiful welcome back to my channel if you want to know what is in this cup please stay glued watch to the very end and don't forget to give this video a like thank you so how are you doing thank you so much for stopping by if you are my returning subscribers thank you if this is your first time of coming out across my kitchen please you're welcome do well to subscribe like the video and turn on the notification bell all right, so I'm uh, making this drink. It's actually for flu. I discovered it late last year and it's been doing wonders. All I need is this ingredient. You can see I have my ginger, my garlic, I have my gloves, I have my cinnamon. Um, there I have my lemon and my, of course, uh, honey is there. Okay, you can use cinnamon powder if you want, but I'm using the stick. So all I have to do is to get this. Uh, ingredients all washed and then sliced as the ginger and the garlic all sliced up and i washed my glove as well some persons go ahead to blend the ginger and garlic you can only use you can as well use only ginger you must not use um, garlic as incorporated as i did okay so i put my water on fire as you can see it's steaming already then i added up my ingredients this um tea is very very healthy it helps you to fight flu and trust me my kitchen was bringing out very nice aroma like because of cinnamon of course you know so if you don't want to drink it plain um this is my hibiscus flour i just washed like three pieces of it that you know what hibiscus flour is is what we use to make zobo drink for those of us from nigeria and not only nigeria most everybody knows that here in Kuwait, I have drunk hibiscus uh, juice before, but in Nigeria we call it zobo. So I incorporated that just to have a change of color. But if you don't mind about the color, you can just go ahead and boil your ingredients without this hibiscus flour. Now you see the color has changed. We have a little, um, you can call it pinkish color. You can call it, yeah, that is it. Okay. So now all I have to do is to sieve this out. I make sure I drink it very, very hot. Yeah. So my lemon is here. So um, you can as well squeeze some lemon juice. Don't boil your uh, a drink with lemon inside, especially if you're not going to consume all at the same time. You know why? Lemon, if you boil it on fire with other lessons and you don't finish it, it's going to be bitter. That doesn't mean it is bad. It's still okay, but it's going to be bitter. So I've just incorporated my honey into my cup and I added a dash of sliced uh, lemon into it as well. Then you can now squeeze some lemon juice and add up. Then this is my drink that we just cooked now. Okay, this is my flax. I use this flax to store my hot tea because I'm going to drink this all day. Okay, this will help you detoss and as well help you to fight flu. It can be taken by anybody, especially maybe from four years there apart, because I give it to my children and it's also helping them. I just incorporated this cinnamon uh, stick for the first time. All the ones I've been making before now, I don't add cinnamon seeds, so you can do without it if you don't want. I love this cup. You can see the magic. My son says, Mommy, you have a magic cup. <laughs> he just brings out its own beauty. Isn't that beautiful? If you have watched this point, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not, just like it for me, please. Thank you for always supporting your girl. I'm grateful, guys. So this is just a simple remedy for flu at home. Just call it home remedy for flu. That's my flax. It keeps it warm, hot, actually, throughout the day. And then you can incorporate more honey if you want. And this is it. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Leave me a comment. God bless you till I see my next video. Bye, guys.